It's post FOMC and we have Bill Baruch of II Trader joining us. Bill, thanks for being on the line with us. Thank you for having me on today. So, Bill, the much anticipated FOMC is finally released. QE has ended. Any surprises for you, Bill? Yeah, we, you know, we were expecting to see the end of QE. There were some, obviously, the comments two weeks ago from Fed President Bullard that, that, that did push gold prices back above 1250. But we've seen that premium come out here over the last week and a half of, as, after equities stabilized. And, uh, and the reality was that, that they were going to finish QE. They, they, this has been something that they've been planning all year, and uh, they're going to stick to it. Also interesting, Bill, is how the FOMC has changed its language in regards to inflation. So last meeting they had written that inflation has moved somewhat closer uh, to the committee's longer run objective. And today it now reads inflation has been running below the committee's longer run objective. So is inflation a real threat to the Fed here, Bill? You know, I, I think this comes in because of we, we've seen commodity prices over the last month really take a hit. I think they want to acknowledge it. They, they, they do want to leave uh, something in the statement that, that says they are watching inflation. Uh, I, I, however, you know, we at II Trader do believe that, that we are actually looking at, at uh, inflation stabilizing over the, over the coming months. I mean, oil has, and, and has taken a hit. I mean, we've seen the metals take quite a hit, but we've seen, see, we've seen prices stabilize. And, and I think, you know, in, in, in the deflation or uh, the, I think the Fed will maintain inflation towards their 2%. I don't think it's a real worry uh, to see that fall back too much. And on to gold now, Bill. Gold falling to a three-week low uh, once the FOMC concluded. What do you see here for the metal? The, the gold is taking a hit here. 1219 and a half is the, is the major 50% retracement of the recent range. And a close below there is going to, going to leave the bears in, in, in clear control. We should likely see a test at 1200. Now, this shouldn't be too much of, of a surprise. Yes, yes the, the market had a nice rally following, uh, following Bullard's comments two weeks ago in the, in the wake of uh, fears uh, around the world of recession and, and contagion from Europe. But the, but the reality is, you know, the dollar is, is strengthening, and the, and the Fed is is still focused on when are they going to when they're going to raise rates, uh, and, and they're focused on moving forward. You know, that's, that's clearly what they did here, and and that's what's going to move the gold market going forward. As the dollar continues to strengthen, it's going to put pri uh, pressure on gold prices. And, and and on top of that, though, we are the ones lifting our foot off of uh, you know uh, off of the pedal when it comes to easing. Uh, Europe is just getting started. And, 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 and the Bank of Japan, we know, we know they have a long ways to go. So the dollar is going to strengthen from here. And what we're really watching is, is if you get the dollar right, you're going to get a lot of things right. And, and it may, that may sound a little easy, but it's the reality. The, the dollar closing above 85 is what you need to watch. And, and as long as this closes above 85 uh, for, over the long run, then, then gold prices are going to see pressure. Uh, in the shorter term, on the upside, 86 and then, and then 87, if we start getting out above there, you're going to going to start seeing gold prices go below 1180 and, and start moving lower. Um, you know, right now, the way things look and our outlook is that we're going to see lower gold prices for the rest of the year. Uh, and, and until January, when, when you see some money managers and hedge fund managers, they'll look to buy assets that have, been, have taken a hit. Uh, and that's when we, we can see an opportunity to buy silver and gold. Bill, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you soon. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Anytime.